One of the biggest controversies right now in the Mortal Kombat community are the cameo fighters coming to Mortal Kombat 1. And as we all know, they're not a thing that you can just like turn off. That is just what Mortal Kombat 1 is. That is just like the gimmick that they're going with in Mortal Kombat 1. And it is a huge controversy online throughout the fan base. A lot of people hate it. They, they, they've seen the gameplay. They just really don't like it. They're making it known for sure. And then a lot of other players are like, oh, this is great. This is totally fine. This is fun. It's not quite tag team of what we wanted, but it's a step in the right direction. And after playing the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test myself, here are my thoughts, my pros and my cons for cameo fighters in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. So first and foremost, my dudes, if you enjoy fighting game content and you want more of it, make sure and subscribe here because we have new videos Monday and Friday. And who doesn't want more content? Now, the biggest pro that I can give you for Cameo Fighters that I found playing the stress test myself is it makes for some awesome, fun, and flashy combos. And Mortal Kombat 1 is definitely going to be known for their combos. I mean, they have before in the past with MKX, even MK11, but, but their combo system feels very fluid and seamless in Mortal Kombat 1, and Cameos make that extended and just better. Like, I was playing a bit of Sub-Zero and there were some combos that I couldn't do without Jax being my cameo, but then having Sonya as my cameo opened up other doors for different combos that I couldn't do had I been using Jax before. It just really opens up a lot of options for flashy combos that feel really good to pull off. But even with that being said, a big con that I found is even with the few cameo fighters we got to try, I noticed that if this continues with like, I think there's like what, 16 or 18 cameo fighters they're gonna bring to the final game uh, at launch anyways, is there's definitely gonna be a meta, not just of main characters, but of cameo fighters. Cause a lot of cameo fighters are like essentially just better. Like they, they just offer more, they bring more to the table for more of a variety of characters. I can already tell that coming than other cameo fighters might. So for an example, Jax, let's say, is gonna be the meta cameo fighter for what he does for your combos, or vice versa, Sonya being the meta because she can extend her combos by doing her leg grab, popping your opponent back up for again, bigger and longer, flashier combos. And really no matter who you play, like who your main character is, you're gonna want Sonya as your cameo for an example. And though you really wanna use Sub-Zero or Scorpion or whoever for your cameo, you're almost forced to choose Sonya because like they're the best and they just offer more to your gameplay. So though I hope that they really bring some balance to both the main roster and the cameo fighters, I can already tell you there's gonna be a meta of cameo fighters. So though again, you might wanna play this other character for your cameo. You're like, ah, well, I mean, I really gotta play Jax because he is just like the best and he just does so much more for me than almost all the other cameos do. Going back to a pro though, is because they're cameo fighters, they do bring a lot to the fight. They bring a new life, a new fresh take take on the fight because they're all different they're all unique so of course being being unique cameo fighters they have the unique attack so when i fight like let's say i only main one character i'm gonna main raiden probably because that's how i always do it but my raiden is gonna play a bit differently if i choose Jax for my cameo compared to if i choose sonya for my cameo so really i already off the bat have let's say you know two different versions of my raiden because i'm choosing different cameo fighters opening up again different windows for other combos or just different stuff going on per the fight. It changes the matchup to a pretty good extent that it, it is just a new fresh take on the fight. Like really I'll be playing Raiden, but with, you know, if I choose Sub-Zero for my cameo, I'll be playing Raiden, but with Sub-Zero special moves, which is kind of cool. Because of how prominent cameo fighters are in Mortal Kombat 1, a lot of players might say, oh, if you just don't like them, don't use them. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're you're definitely gonna use them. They're they're just part of the game. And if you have them equipped, no matter what, you have a, you don't really have a choice. You have to choose a cameo fighter. They they don't cost any of your bar beneath, so you can still enhance your own moves and your fatal blows tied to your health, as we know. So really, you're not wasting anything besides the cameo bar itself to use your cameo fighter. So honestly you might as well just use your cameo fighter because you have the resources and you're not draining any other resources. So you might as well. People are going to say, oh, well, if you don't want to use them, don't use them. And again, I guess you don't have to use them, but they're in your arsenal no matter what. So you might as well just use them. And honestly, it's not really a bad thing. We got to play the game we have and not hope for the game that we don't, right? So because you're given this, you might as well just take advantage of it and utilize it the best way that you can. Now, this con is a bit more nitpicky. It's not really that bad. I found that in the stress test that cameo fighters were a bit cheesy at times. Like Sonya, for an example, walks in. If you win the round, she walks in and just like salutes the camera and then like leaves. I think that it's cool because you're my cameo fighter, but it's a bit cheesy. And let's say I'm playing Sub-Zero and I win the fight 
then my you know my my winning pose sub zero does like his cool thing but then sonya's just standing there like i did something i i also fought in this fight it's like it's just a bit cheesy at times like i wish in reality like kemi fighters are cool and they're they enhance your gameplay and whatever but when i win the game as sub zero i would rather have just like sub zero have his own unique winning pose you know i don't know that was a bit more nitpicky but i just found them a bit cheesy at times between rounds and for the wins but it is cool because they can be unique in the way of like not only do they have their own moves but they also have their own grabs and their own fatality so if you use sonya for your cameo fighter when you do forward grab well it's not you grabbing it's now sonya sonya also has her own cameo fatality which is pretty cool and of course all your cameos go into your fatal blow as well so when you do a fatal blow your cameo does their portion their half of the fatal blow and then your main character finishes it but your cameo is definitely part of the fight even if you don't use their actual moveset with the r1 button you still have to you know you do the grabs the fatal blows and if you choose to do the fatality with them of course so i get why they're at the end doing the whole like i did something Thing, but it's like what you did <laughs> but did you i'll tell you right now i get what they're going for for cameos i get it they want to take some characters maybe even main characters as of right now this recording we do not know if sonya Jax, or kano we know their cameo but we don't know if they're going to be part of the main roster and if they're not this is nether realm's kind of way of saying hey we wanted to save main roster slots for these new characters or these old ones that are bringing back, but we still wanted to give you Sonya, give you Jax in this form. So here you go. They're still in the game to a point. I understand that and I actually do appreciate that because I do I also want to see other new faces on the main roster while also still seeing Jax. But we've had Jax and Sonya since day one. So maybe it's time they sit one out to a point and they're now a cameo fighter. So I get it, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Cameo fighters don't really feel alive. They don't really feel as like they're part of the fight. They feel more like an accessory. They feel like an assist item you might find in MK11, where it's like, okay, I'm playing Raiden, but I'm gonna use Jax's grabs here and there when I have enough time or if I can for the combo. Like it is cool, but I feel like Netherrealm wanted these characters to really be part of the game. And though they technically are as the fighter, they're just they're just kind of not. They feel more like an accessory, like uh, last who raw for the character rather than an actual fighter. And I know they're not. That's just more of how I feel about the cameos themselves. And to kind of go back with what I was saying before for the other characters, it will be cool to see a lot of 3D era characters either in the main roster, but if they don't make it to have them part of the cameos, that'll be really cool to see. Okay, I didn't get, you know, Movado or whatever on the main roster, but it's really cool to see him on the cameo roster. Like if you're a big Striker fan, first of all, <laughs> why are you a Striker fan? But if you are, I don't think he's going to be part of the main roster, but they want to appease to the Striker fans. So they're like, okay, we don't want to waste a slot on Striker because nobody does, <laughs> but we will put him as a cameo fighter so you Striker fans can at least get Striker to some degree as a cameo fighter, and that'll be really cool. And now it makes me wonder who are they going to make a cameo when it comes to like, are they going to make big bosses or characters we haven't seen in a long time? Are they going to make new characters a cameo fighter? Like, like maybe a character we've never even seen before, but we see in the story for a half second and they're a cameo. That might be kind of cool. Like they're not a main fighter, but they are a cameo and they're a brand new character or what if they do like guest character cameos like, i know we've gotten leaked of like homelander or whatever being a being a main fighter for the dlc for fighter pack one or whatever but but what if what if they make some guest characters that we've always wanted as cameos like would you like that as a fan would you want them to say like why make them a cameo but it'd be kind of cool as well like what if they made i don't know homelander a main character on the dlc roster but then they made a train a cameo I, I mean there's a couple ideas floating in the air that they could run with get it a train run <laughs> I think the biggest thing that I really enjoy about cameos is they make my main character feel a bit different depending on who I choose as a cameo fighter. So again, if I play Raiden and I have, I don't know, five different cameo fighters that I really enjoy playing with, and I know a lot of the combos that I can do with Raiden, via which cameo fighter that i choose i think that's really cool because now i have raiden as one main character but now he plays you know five six different ways depending on my cameo fighter so i really enjoy that it makes even your main character just feel a bit fresh a bit newer every single fight as long as you change your cameo fighter and i like that a lot all in all i'll tell you this i think the cameo fighters are a great new addition to mortal kombat i think it's our new gimmick that once you get the hang up you're gonna really enjoy it and you and i cannot wait personally to see all the different character combinations 
we're gonna see in Mortal Kombat 1. I've already done the math off the base roster we've seen. There's over 380 different character combinations you can run with depending on who you main and who you choose for a cameo fighter. And that number alone is insane. But at the end of the day, I can also see why it's not everyone's cup of tea because you might just want to play a character as that base character like you. And again, you don't have to use the, the cameo fighters moveset. So you could argue, well, you could play Scorpion and just play base Scorpion. But because they're forcing you to use a cameo fighter, it's like, well, you might as well just use your cameo fighter's moves. So I can see why it might not be everyone's cup of tea. These are just my thoughts. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on the cameo fighters in Mortal Kombat 1? Did you get to play the stress test? If you did, what are your thoughts on it? Please keep in mind, this is all just my opinion. Make sure to take it one step at a time and I will see you guys in the next one.